Today we're gonna to be searching inside some crazy looking tunnels to try to catch a ton of fish to bring back to our giant backyard pond. Let's do it, I'm going in. Anything in here? You're crazy. Ooh, this is nice. Chris. What, there's nothing in here? Yeah, you don't know that. All right, I'll be back guys, I'm gonna go catch some fish. Oh. What oh. do you have? Oh. French minnow guy? Oh my god, it's crushed. Oh, oh my god, god. it's crushed. Wicked pisser. He's pissing. Wicked piss. No. Oh. This thing is fully eating a pleco. I found the mollies. Dude, Jack, there's 500 shrimp in here. Um, there's... All right, I'm back. <laughs> so this tunnel over here, I just walked in. That's a little dried up, but there's one over here that's completely underwater. It's perfect. It's per we're obviously gonna try to do some netting in both, but this area, you guys should, you guys probably know this area from our last uh, fish trap video. This area is loaded with fish. Surprisingly, a really good spot. And you guys wanted us to catch more fish for the backyard pond. We could have caught way more if we used a, a cast net. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try to load that pond with even more fish than last time, which I think is easily doable with some cast nets and some bread. As we're at this spot, we're doing a little challenge here. Me and Jack, who can catch the most amount of fish with our nets? We both have our own buckets. Jack has the beige bucket. A lot, of, a lot of you guys have been saying that. Green. That's, I saw comments, I saw a mixed bag. Some people are saying that that's a green bucket. That is a tan bucket. And if you don't think that's a tan bucket, you're a crazy lunatic. It's so, shade of green. Jack has the tan bucket, I have the white bucket. Let's see who can catch the most fish to stock our pond with, with our nets. Let's do it. Let's throw at the same time, Jack. How do I throw this without getting this thing in my mouth so I don't die? You, go, you put it like, put it here, and then you grab down here, and then you, you just throw it, but you kind of. Okay, sure, I'm gonna try it. Can rock. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. See if it works. Yeah, yeah. I never thrown a cast out like this. That worked great. You gotta hold. You gotta hold on to the, this part a no, little. No, I just put it in my mouth. <laughs> nice throw, Jack. This net's a piece of garbage. No, that was a good throw though. What do you got going on over here? I, I see fish in that net. I see fish too. Now my bucket, I can actually see inside of because it's white, and you can see I got a good, decent amount of some minnows. This is what we're gonna be stocking our pond with. We're gonna catch a ton of these guys. This is a really good one, actually. Look at this little, look at this little dude. A little fantail. I don't know, I don't know exactly, but he's got some spots on there. That's perfect. Whatever, any 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 fish, any minnow, molly, whatever, it's gonna go in the pond. We're stocking this thing big time today. So that was my throw, but as you can see, in the tan bucket, which is tan, Jack's got a good amount of fish in here, big and small. He's got some studlies. That this bucket you can't really see. Right yeah, I've got to look how many shrimp I've just picked up off the ground for my throw. I've got like a dozen shrimp. It's gonna it's, be great for the pond. It's gonna be great for the pond. I'd say a little cleanup crew like this down at the bottom of the water. I'd say you have a little, a little more than me right now. I think I'm losing this. Now I'm really thinking there's fish in this tunnel. Anytime there's a tunnel, anytime there's structure, there's gonna be fish in there. And I'm thinking I'm gonna catch a good amount here. I'm used to throwing this net with, with the net in my mouth because I usually I'm throwing it in the salt water and I'm fine with doing that. But this freshwater stuff sketches me out, so I don't know how good this throw is gonna be. Oh, that's dead center money. Nice throw. You like that, Jack? Oh. What oh. do you have? Oh. Oh my God, we, I, Jack, I have so many minnows, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Minnows. Millions of minnows. I just won this challenge. Million, million. Put them over the bucket. I just won this challenge. <laughs> get him in. Get him in. Get him dude, in. What did I say about the tunnel? Holy crap, Chris! You literally just caught like 500. In <laughs> a big ass mine. I literally just caught like 500 minnows, dude. Okay, we gotta get that mine out of there because yeah. he's gonna. So many more in there. He's There's gonna disrupt. So many minnows in that net, Jack. Holy crap, Chris! I think that was a world record minnow. That though. might have been the world record minnow run. That's how you do it. What I say? What, what did I say about the tunnel, bro? Anytime there's structure, there's gonna be fish. Wicked pisser. He's pissing. Wicked pit. Big old mine cichlid. Amazing snake. Never seen bait, a, ne Never seen a fish but, pee before. But uh, definitely not something we want to put in the pond, especially at this size. Never seen a fish pee before. I think Jeremy would definitely handle this guy, but they got really a lot of beautiful color on here. Blue on the top, these blue bars. Typically they have a spot on the tail. Yep, spot on the tail. Really pretty, really pretty, but not what we're after today. We're after solely minnows. I'm very proud of myself. Bye bye, buddy. I'm very um, proud of myself. Uh, if I die within the next week, it's cause of this water. So tell, tell the city that this is toxic because I've ingested so much of that water. <laughs> it's Nickelodeon slime, bro. It's literally- Look how many minnows! <laughs> That was one throw. I crushed, bro. Man, we got a chunk. I crushed. That was one throw. I was. I didn't even throw on bread. It was just in the tunnel. Here's a serious tip. Soak your bread a little bit. Pick up those minnows, dude. Give it a little sp skirplunk. It'll fizzle, spread. Let them chew. Let's look at the minnows. I don't think I, it's possible for me to come back. Dude. Look at all those minnows. Straight minnows. Straight minnows. Yeah. Yeah. That is crazy. That is what we're after right yeah. there. I think I, I think I have mo more shrimp than minnows. They don't call me GMG for nothing. 
Now I'm just gonna be MG. What is GMG? Class Metal God. Now I'm just Metal God. No, now you're at, <laughs> now, now you're FMG, uh, fresh metal guy. Fresh. <laughs> dude, hit that, hit that bread. You think I can reach that, dude? Hit that bread. I'm gonna go almost cast out of the bird. <laughs> That bird better, FGM is here. FMG, sorry, F fresh minnow god. Crushed. French minnow god? Oh my god, it's crushed. Oh it's my god, it's crushed. Jack, I won this challenge. Hurry up, get him over. <laughs> oh my god, there's a, there's another 500. It's a tunnel. It's a tunnel. I, 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 crushed. I crushed. And you got a lot of shrimp. Straight in, nice. Nice, look at all those minnows. Oh there. my god, bro, that's another 500. Another 500. That's another 500. You have the you have the right net here, brother. Way more effective than, uh, than the fish trap. Oh. Holy bee. I will kick that bee in the head. He's going after the honey brioche bread. That's what he's after. Jesus! I don't. He bees. wants the honey brioche, bro. He's on your net. Don't mess with him, dude. I'm not. I'm not. I just. Seriously, I'm a fan of bees. I, I just don't come near me. Why does he want the bread for? Uh, there is m more minnows than water in here. Are you serious? <laughs> they don't call me GMG. They used to call me GMG. Now they just call me MG. If you don't know what uh, GMG is, it's glass minnow god. Now I'm just minnow god. Listen, what's that saying? You don't, you don't pick your life in this world, it just comes to you. It just comes to you, you're just on a path. You don't pick your life. I just made that up, by the way. My path is clearly a glass minnow god. Never been so pumped to be losing in my life. I mean, minnows for days, people. Minnows for days. Unfortunately, there's a lot of bread mixed in, which is gonna make it really annoying when we put these fish inside. We're gonna clean the bucket up. I think I should go from range here. From range, right over the tunnel, guys. I don't know if you can see the tunnel, but this, this water is perfectly flowing Talk in. to me. Do it. Talk to me. Did it work? It's gotta be a crush. If it's not, I'll be surprised. Oh my God. <laughs> Shut up. Oh really? Yeah. All right, I gotta get going. <clears throat> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Just, I'm just, I'm just. You're just waxing. That's it, I, I can retire. You literally don't even need to throw anymore. I, I don't even need to throw anymore. I, I have so many minnows. It's insane. The amount of minnows I have. Here goes Gentile. Here goes Gentile. My bucket is black, not because of the water, because of the amount of minnows I have in there. Wow, come on. Dude, I don't think I have the right net. I got zero minnows. You can use mine. Zero minnows, one, may, maybe maybe five minnows. Can you please use my net? Because I literally can't fit another minnow in my bucket. It's blacked out live well. Ooh, no. Biggest molly, show them that thing. That counts as like 100 mollies because it's got so many inside of it. Holy cow, that's freaking Goliath. Look at the belly on that. It's about to pop. He's going in my bucket. I'm retired from minnow uh, catching because I caught so many. So I'm gonna go spend the rest of my time fishing our cherry bomb from the Fish Guy Mystery Box. This cherry bomb has been catching a lot of fish. This one is uh, absolutely money. So I'm gonna go try. Come on. Come on, Jack. I'm, our, I'm really might need to invest in one of these nets. Dude, it's the best net. I, I, I'm just not a minnow guy. You didn't catch any? I got a cichlid. I probably got the oh same my cichlid. God. No, I actually got a good amount. I got a fair amount. I got a fair amount. I got a fair amount. No. <sighs> Just did a burnout, full blown burnout. Yeah, I got a good amount, I got a good amount. I don't know how many minnows we have guys, but I would say Chris makes up for 90% of them because that was a complete failure. I think this might be the same exact one. Do you guys think that's the same exact cichlid from before? I think it might be. I think it literally might be, same size. Changing the strat up here guys. Totally took over Chris's net here. Had to, my net was not it. We're gonna go over here. Opposite side of the tunnel, super shallow. Gotta be some minnows in here. This literally connects straight through to the other side. My theory is maybe we scared them all and they came over here. Can't ask for a better throw than that. Oh, got it out with a uh, half closed net. Epic failure. I don't think there's any water over here. I think we hammered this area pretty hard. I need, to, I need to start doing something. We're gonna go opposite side. It's a little trifecta here. This tunnel leads to another tunnel, which leads to a bridge, which leads to a lake. I think we're gonna go hit the other side hard. I gotta, I gotta make up some ground. Armored pleco. This thing is fully eating a pleco. Trying to, it's impossible. There's no way he's gonna be able to eat that. You're watching National Geographic. I told you guys, this is- this is National Fish think, Guy Graphic. Yeah, this is, you think this is just the Fish Guy's YouTube channel? This is, we've been doing some Nat Geo shit, man. Just let it go, man. Impossible. Not, he's got those spines. Oh, oh my God. God, God Did he eat it? How is he gonna be able to break that down? No chance, no chance. That fish, you guys know what a pleco is. That fish has straight up armor, like a, like a chain mail on it. I don't know why he would choose to go for that one. Should've gone for something else, but I guess Buddy wants a nice hearty meal. Ha, no pun intended. Or was <laughs> it? He just swallowed it. Not too sure how that's gonna. He just swallowed that entire pleco. He, he got it all the way down. 
I saw him swallow it. How is he gonna digest that? You know what the crazy thing is? That Pluggo right now is still alive, swimming in his belly, or wherever he is. That Pluggo right now, just put your mind as the Pluggo and you're in the stomach. Yeah, that would suck. That'd suck. Look at all the minnows over there. Jack's about to, you gotta target that long range one, Jack. If you can get it there, you, that's- Are there? Yeah, the way deep one, dude. The way deep one. No, not that one. You said the, uh, way deep. The one on the right. Let's see though, they, there's def this is definitely a smokage. We're minnowed up. Are we? Yeah, you got some good ones in there. Yeah, we're minnowed up. We're minnowed up. What is this? It's like a big glass minnow, dude. Unidentified species, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone needs to uh, let us know what you think this is down in the comments. Dude, what the frick is this? Unidentified species, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. He's completely translucent. You can see right through him. Really cool fish. Hey, he swam off like a champ. Good for him. I think I found the mollies. I found the mollies. Where are they? They're up in those trees. They're up in the trees. Oh my God, that's a lot. Look at the size. Some of those are really big. Look at that molly. That's what we want, dude. That's, that's what we're after. All right, we're back at the pond. We're about to put the minnows in, but I did get word on someone who has a, about, about a 30 inch sturgeon. You know, that is possible to go in this pond. If you guys would like to see a sturgeon go in this pond, drop a like on this video. It's a pretty big one and I will try to make it happen. Let's get 10,000 likes on this video and we're gonna get a big old sturgeon for the backyard pond. That would be epic. Think about it, drop a like if you wanna see it. I think I would drop a leg because I want to see it. So let's get these minnows in the pond. We're trying to transfer the uh, the fish into a clear bucket so you guys can really see everything we caught. This Look is insane. at the amount. This bucket was just empty two seconds ago. Two scoops and it is covered. And it's not even close to all done. What is Blue looking at? This is what Blue wants to play with. Look at this, look at this dog. He's a German Shepherd, big boy. Doesn't want to play with a ball or, or anything like that. He wants to play with this leaf. <laughs> That's how far I can throw it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Now, in terms of the pond, look at how crystal clear this water is. It is looking so damn good, it's insane. The pond hasn't been this clear in years. You can see every single fish swimming around like crazy. It is literally like looking in glass. Our largemouth bass, you can clearly see now, which is awesome. There is still some particles floating in the water. When we probably put the GoPro in, it's gonna be a little bit cloudier. It, it looks amazing, I'm so excited to put uh, these minnows in. Look at this minnow in the pond right here. Go buddy, swim to the log, swim to the log. So all the other minnows are inside this log here with Rami who loves to live inside that log. You can see his head peeking in there. Rami the giant Garami lives right there in that little cave. That's his spot. So I'm pumped to get our minnows in. And so is Blue, he's pumped about this leaf. Sit, give me paw. Good boy, down, leave it. Good man, knows how to listen. It's a freaking shrimp run. Look at the shrimp. There's thousands. Oh, look at that Earl. Holy shit. Look at all the shrimp. So not only are we catching minnows in this spot, we're catching shrimp. Look at that Earl, holy shit. Dude, Jack, there's 500 shrimp in here. I told you I was nailing shrimp. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's so much. So many shrimp. Very good for the pond, very healthy for the pond. Holy crap. Look at all the freaking shrimp in there, bro. That's epic. I'm telling you guys, right now, we're trying to start a fish minnow farm in here and a shrimp farm. Wow, blacked out live well. Just a blacked out live well. I don't even know if you can see in this GoPro. It's just straight minnows and ghost shrimp. Absolutely epic. Just endless of them. Hundreds of thousands. Now this is gonna be easily 10 times bigger than the fish trap video. I mean, this bucket is filled to the top. Let's get these guys in. I, th I think we just dump them all in at once. Here goes the absolute army of the- Let's go, look at all those freaking minnows. Some of them actually Holy are not crap. alive because uh, they got oh, caught in the net. But look at that, there's thousands. There's thousands. That is crazy, dude. There is so many. That's epic. That's way more than we put in the first time. Way more. So many minnows. The fish are, the water is so clear, the fish are scared right yeah, now. Yeah, the bass is, the bass literally just went up to him, not eating him. That's perfect, that's what we want. That's what we want. We got all of our minnows fully swimming in the pond. Look at them all over here, dude. Holy crap, they, we have a lot of, like we might be good on minnows for a while. Yeah, like they're actually everywhere. Wait till they get to that driftwood, dude. They're gonna be loving it. 
Wow, the minnows look absolutely amazing here. Rami is so happy to have so many friends. I can see, look, you can see Rami's face. Look from where I'm looking, you can see Rami sits right in there with his head peeking through the log. I mean, he loves his home. That just warms my heart, man. Absolutely loves it, so. You're welcome for catching all those minnows. I won the challenge just because I, I don't know, I decided, you know, I'm gonna throw in that tunnel and there happened to be about a million in there, which is absolutely epic. We got our fish, our pond loaded up. All the fish are happy. It looks amazing. It's looking better and better every single time. Every single time we do a video, it looks better and better. We definitely wanna, you know, build some more rock in here, get a couple lily pads, some more driftwood. I think that is a must. You guys give us some suggestions down in the comments of what you guys wanna see this pond turn into. We could even do like a little shelf, little turtle shelf and have some turtles in here. It's definitely an option. So let us know what you think down in the comments. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like on today's video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.